Are you comfortable, Reagan? Yes. How old? Twelve. Is there someone inside you? Sometimes. Who is it? I don't know. Is it Captain Howdy? I don't know. If I ask him to tell me, will you let him answer? No. Why not? I'm afraid. If he talks to me, I think he'll leave you. Do you want him to leave you? Yes. I'm speaking to the person inside of Reagan now. If you are there, you two are hypnotized. I must answer all my questions. Come forward. Answer me now. Well, <clears throat> as you guessed, we're reviewing the 1973 classic, The Exorcist. Now, The Exorcist uh, came around the time when there wasn't many of these movies around. There's a, there's a few, but you know, I can think of... Uh, a few off the top of my head, but just this was an era where they didn't dip into the occult movies, and uh, you know, in this movie, I was only about two years old when this came out, but you know, I heard all the stories of how you know, people were screaming and running out of theaters, and um, you know, I can believe it because. 40 years later we're still screaming and running because I mean there's some people who find this movie dated but this is still one of the benchmarks when it comes to paranormal movies you know most recently I just saw um, The Conjuring and The Conjuring was probably the closest thing I've seen to The Exorcist and it only took 40 years to find a movie to to have competition, so <clears throat> let me tell you a little bit about The Exorcist. It was directed by William Friedkin. Um, it was a book written by William Peter Blatty, um, starring Ellen Burstyn, who uh, played the role of Chris McNeil, Max von Sydow, who uh, plays Father Marin. Uh, Lee J. Cobb, Lee J. Cobb, who played um, <clears throat> Lieutenant William Kinderman, um, Kitty Wynn, who plays Sharon, Jack McGrowan, who plays uh, Burke Dennings, who uh, has a tragic ending, uh, Jason Miller, who plays the illustrious Father Karras, uh, Linda Blair, obviously, as Reagan. Linda Blair is still an icon because of this movie. <coughs> um, she still does conventions, uh, as does um, Ellen Burstyn. Um, <coughs> William O'Malley as Father Dyer. <coughs> and uh, Rudolf Schindler as Carl. But, uh, I'm on imdb.com right now, and IMDb rates this very high for horror movies, uh, general horror movies, anywhere between five and six and a half, and this is rated as an eight. So if that tells you anything, <clears throat> uh, probably one of the higher rated horror movies. And if you go down many horror fanatics lists of, uh, top 20 lists, you'll find this in, in most of everybody's top 20, if not top 10, if not top 5. Um, I have this as my second, I believe. I, I, I wrote out a list a long time ago. I have this as number 2, so it's pretty high on my list. Um, let's play another scene from 
The Exorcist. You died there. Again? Reagan was experiencing a lot of sickness early on, and you know nobody really knew what was going on. And I remember when I was watching this movie, thinking how dumb these psychiatrists were. You know, they're throwing her from psychiatrist to psychiatrist to operations, and you know, there's a scene when uh, her doctors get called over, and her and she's flying off the bed. Uh, she's like, her body's leaping off the bed, and even with the mother jumping on it, the bed is just moving, and they just don't comprehend that, well, I mean, no illness is going to cause a bed to fly off with two people on it, but, uh, let's go through down another list here, another, keep away, the sour's mine, <clears throat> So she rots and lies stinking in the earth. I like how uh, there's a mind game going on between um, Karis and the uh, the uh, demon inside of Reagan. Um, like when he when the demon opens the drawer and Karis says, "Do that again in time." No, no, in time. <laughs> so it's like a little cat and mouse there going on between them. Um, <clears throat> let's go back to some more here. What's that? Ah, Brad, you motherfucking worthless cocksucker. Be silent! Oh. Oh. Your mother sucks cocks in hell, oh, Paris, you, you faithless swine. Oh, father. Oh, father. Oh, father. Oh, father. Oh, father. Oh, father. Amen. Oh, father. 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 Oh. Look down and did it! You killed your mother! Your servant. You left her alone! Break to die! Shut up! I'll never forgive you! Oh, Shut up! Shut up! Oh. <laughs> I like the little mind games going on there too, because uh, Karis's mom um, was put into a, a senior home and ends up dying. And, um,. There's a little mind game going on there with the demon trying to get under Karis' skin. So, uh, and Father Marin trying to be the the peacekeeper <laughs> between them, between devil and non devil. So, but uh, <clears throat> there's some more. I cast you out! Unclean spirit! Shut up, your ass! In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ! It is he who commands you! He who commands you! Heights of heaven to the depths of hell! Fuck him! Be God! Fuck him, Garrus! From Fuck this him. creature of God! <laughs> Yeah, it 
was said that um, little Linda Blair wasn't allowed to actually see this till she was a beige. So, you know, she only got to act in the movie, but she never actually, from what I understand, they only showed her the the scenes that didn't require any cursing or um, violence in them. So, uh, like probably that scene when the doctor is asking, I'm speaking to the person inside of breaking. They probably let us see that part, but um, this was way. This was a graphic film for back then, too. You know, back then there was this, and then a year later there was Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So, well, I mean, back then they had whatever happened to Baby Jane and uh, Rosemary's Baby was big back then. Psycho was in 1960. So, it's, there wasn't really a lot of shock back then. I know a lot of old school people are probably going to criticize me for that, but, <clears throat> I mean, in theaters back then, uh, you had some great actors going around, and you had some great movies, uh, but what I'm talking about is, uh, oh my freaking God moments, and The Exorcist provided that. So here's yeah, some more. Do you know what she did? Your canting daughter. Now I know why Linda Blair wasn't allowed to watch this. So But that's been my review. Uh, I'm gonna do these small ones, and then I'm gonna do like weekly uh, series. But I just wanted to tackle one of my favorite exorcists and uh, see what you guys think. Let this music play for a while because it's a little eerie. Let's do a couple of, uh... Ah, uh, can't forget the, uh... The ghostly figure there. One of my all-time favorite shots, the spinning head. You know what she did? Your cunting delta? Now I want that for my wallpaper. Hello, I'm your new wallpaper and I love you. So, let's uh, take this out and uh, hope you've enjoyed this as much as I have. Until next time, I'm Rob, and I will see you at the movies. If that's true, then you must know my mother's maiden name. What is it?
What is it? <laughs> I had to leave you with one more event image, and this is probably my favorite part to, uh, to recite when I'm in the exorcist mood. When I'm in the exorcist mood, you'll hear me say this a lot. The power of Christ compels you. The power of Christ compels you. Oh.